What's going on guys, Bengalini here, coming back at you with another video today, back on Madden 18 49ers franchise. I believe this is episode 33, and it has been quite some time since the last time I uploaded a 49ers franchise video. We are currently 8-5, and, and we're going to be playing the Seattle Seahawks today at Levi Stadium before advancing to face the Dolphins. The playoffs are coming up, we are 8-5, and five, currently, I guess, tied for first place. This is the tiebreaker. For first place in the NFC West, 49ers versus Seahawks. We're going to give the start to Walter Wiley at halfback number one. We got a weird running back situation. You guys remember the Wileys. Of course, we have Walter Marcus with a K, Keegan down here. And then on the practice squad, we actually have uh, Cedric Wiley as well. He'll never see the field. It just won't happen. But we're so close to the playoffs i'm back on 49ers franchise hopefully i'll record like a couple episodes today so you guys will have some 49ers franchise to watch and a lot of people have been asking me about like you know when is this franchise coming back what's what are your plans with madden 18 and i know a lot of you are subscribed to the channel for madden 18 uh but honestly numbers wise 49ers franchise had not been doing so well uh in the last couple episodes so i'm like eh, maybe the like for, you know the love for the series isn't there but then I get so many comments asking to bring 49ers franchise back. I don't really know what to upload if not MLB The Show right now. And I know many of you watching this don't like MLB, don't like MLB The Show. You don't want to watch those videos. I understand that. That's not why you subscribe to the channel. You know you never would have subscribed if not for the Madden videos or the NFL videos or the quizzes or whatever you subscribed for. I get that. What do you want to see me do on Madden or with football videos? Should I bring back quizzes? Please let me know down in the comment section below. If you don't comment ever, you lurk, you just here for the videos, I appreciate that. What do you want to see? And please, last time I asked this, it's like, oh, whatever you're feeling like, bang. This is not what I'm asking for. Tell me what you want. Whether I can make it happen or not, I don't know. But just tell me what you want to see, and I'll see what I can do. All that I can worry about right now, though, is facing the cheese Seattle Seahawks on all Madden. And hopefully we can get the win. 10 minute quarters. I play okay. I play a long time for sure. Also, new development. Apparently, Reuben Foster did not beat the hell out of his girlfriend. Um, as we're back to the Thomas Ross show every time we play the Seahawks. Apparently, he didn't beat his girlfriend. And now there is speculation. I'm not going to confirm anything. But I'm saying there is speculation out there that he may have paid off his, his ex-girlfriend to say that he didn't do anything to her. Which I'm not going to weigh in uh one way or another but i'm just saying that's what some people are saying as amara darbo dude the seahawks are so cheese and mad i don't even get it ironically led by reuben foster this defense is taking a beating to start this game as this will be a run trying to shed blocks can't do it it's a good tackle by quan alexander that's a draw play the draw we're right on it that's a good stop loss of two for Corey clement it's a screen we're on it we're on it Great tackle. Big 69. Jamar Wiggins records a sack. They might be out of field goal range. They're going to attempt it anyway. What's the wind? I don't really know. Looks like that net's blowing a decent bit. We'll see if they can convert. Is that Blair Walsh? It's not. Wide left anyways. It's going to actually hook back in. It was going to go wide right maybe. They miss it. They were short. Is that Young Hoku? It is. <laughs> oh, what a, what a guy. And this certainly is an exciting offense. We've got a lot of speed out here. We're actually going to throw that ball. Devontae Parker made the catch. That's tight coverage from Earl Thomas, but Joey Lockler fit in the ball perfectly. And this offense is showing why it's one of the best in the NFL now. Even, well, I mean, it's, it was one play. But this is an elite defense with great speed. What are you doing? Yo. Was that George Kittle? He just watched. I think that was George Kittle on the line. Literally just watching the play unfold. Please block somebody, George. We're going to roll out with Lockler. I want to throw that ball. We're going to throw it on the run for Wiley. Walter Wiley made the catch in traffic. 26 yards. What a throw from Lockler, by the way. Here's Marcus Wiley. He's going to actually shake off an Earl Thomas a little bit. Gain of three or four on the play. Second and goal now from the three. We're going to run the ball the other way. We're going to go towards the wide side of the field. We have Marcus Wiley in here. Kyle Juszczyk is in the block. And there is a pretty decent block. Not even. Marcus Wiley does not care. Breaks a tackle. 
fights his way into the end zone. And we are going to take an early 7-0 lead here in the middle of the first quarter. Big third and three now. We can make a stop and get the football back and score again before the end of the first quarter. We're going to play off the ball coverage on Doug Baldwin. Well, obviously. Oh, wow. Gurley. First down. Please, someone stop Thomas Rolls. <laughs> He's averaging 10 yards per carry. We have an elite front seven. Our front seven is so good. Thomas Rawls doesn't care. Every time he plays us, man, it, it doesn't matter. He's going off. Oh, that's a monster hit from Quan. Oh, someone stop Russell Wilson. Oh my God, man. I try, I missed the tackle is what it comes down to, I think. Oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. The flat, it, it's just wide open. Shut it down, please. That's a great tackle. He definitely got the first, though. Definitely got the first. Yep, first and 10 for the Seahawks. Oh, my God. What a play by Jamar Wiggins. 69ing all over. Or six, 69 all over. Jamar Wiggins, of course. That's his number and nothing else. Third and 11. Trying to play tight coverage, and we do. User pick. It's been a while. Easy reads. Hop on pop. Here's Walter Wiley with his first run of the game, I think. He's caught a few passes yet. Good five-yard gain for him, though. Trying a draw now. Looking for space to run. He's going to break a tackle, actually. Walter Wiley's still on his feet. He's got great speed down the sideline. He's going to run past the old Earl Thomas now. Walter Wiley's taunting him. Touchdown. That's what speed does. 73 yards to the house for Walter Wiley exchanging handshakes. Handshakes, hugs. You want to see me outside? Pancakes and drugs? Shout out to Riff Raff. <laughs> it's ridiculous rap. I, I think it's like a, it's a freestyle. If you guys ever want a treat, look up Riff Raff freestyling on YouTube. And it is, oh, so, so good. Oh, that's so open. We're going to have to break down here, make the tackle. That's a huge tackle from Perry Curry. If Thomas Rawls gets around him, that's 30 yards maybe downfield. Shut that down. Shut that. Why am I being dragged over? And like, literally, like, the game is... Uh, back to complaining. Everyone's favorite. Dude, I, like, I'm, let's, let's take a look at the replay. I, I mean, I'm right on him. And I'm just... I'm spamming A, which is tackle. And he doesn't make the tackle there. He runs kind of past him. Then I switch to number 20, which is Willis Burdine? It is. And he just kind of runs past him. Just, just tackle. I'm pressing the right button. Let's play action. That's a screen. There we go. Jacorius Ward makes the uh, tackle there. Oh, man. Oh, the fumble. Ball's loose. And Amara Darbo recovers. That is not a well-read screen. Oh, shit. After a big sack and a tackle for a loss from Aaron Merritt. It is third and 24 for the Seattle Seahawks. Corey Clement still going to remain in the backfield. We get pressure coming in. Solomon Thomas picks up the sack. Showing off his basketball skills there, I guess. I don't really know what he's doing. Getting pressure on Russell Wilson already. And now we'll be getting the ball right back with a good chance to go up 21-0 before the half. All right. Joey Lockler has a chance to break Russell Wilson's 2012 rookie touchdown record against Russell Wilson. We're going to take off with him, though. And we have some space. He's going to actually uh, plow forward 17 yards. Doesn't even slide. Bunch of tight ends out there on the field. Oh, this is an open, this is an open receiver on the run. OJ Howard. Get out of bounds, please. Yep, clock stops. Upgrading Joey Lockler's throw on the run has proven to be very, very effective, and he's shown it a couple times here on, on throws uh, on the run here, so that's what you want. Ideally, trying to throw to Devontae Parker. Couldn't get it off in time. Malik McDowell, just too fast. Lockler again. We're going to roll out. Look for... Uh, I don't want to throw it. Trying to look for a receiver there. Looking for one. Couldn't find any. 
There were a few open options, just didn't want to throw an interception given the circumstances. Third and 14, we have some elite receivers out there on the field. We should be able to make something happen. Looking for OJ Howard. We're going to step up in the pocket, and it was not a good decision. Um, probably just should have taken the chance on OJ Howard because an interception there really doesn't hurt us that much. Instead, we're going to have to punt. Fourth and inches. Made quite a stop there. We still have time to score. Three timeouts. We're going to have maybe about 40 seconds when the offense takes over. Here is the punt from Nielsen. It's going to be all the way back into the end zone. Joey Cummings will not take it. 41 seconds to go 80 yards. Three timeouts. It's doable. Lockler. Pressure's coming in already. Frank Clark. Probably just going to run the ball out now. We do have Walter Wiley, so a big play could happen at any moment. We're going to take this to the left side and see if something opens up. We're going to spin back. Use the speed of Walter. Gets out of bounds. 16 seconds. It's, it's unlikely that we're going to be able to go the length of the field here. We're going to give Joey Cummings a handoff. We're going to give him a carry. And uh, proves to be ineffective. But there's no way the Seahawks can score 13 seconds left in the half. We're only up 14 nothing, And uh, the yardage is surprisingly close for that score. And we definitely should have checked off to RB. I couldn't hit the button in time. Or he, well, let me say, I hit the button. He couldn't get the throw off in time. And Seattle now is up to four sacks. This offense is stalling a bit. I feel like we're trying to go too far down the field. But we're going to take off with Lockler again. This time going to slide. Picks up another big gain though. Let's hit the flat. OJ Howard. Good stiff arm gets another couple of yards. But we get the first down. I think we're going to test Cam Chancellor here. We love what Dante Buchanan brings to the table. He is actually wide open. And I don't really know what happened there. He was wide open. He just didn't get a catch animation or something. It just like kind of went right past him and hit Cam Chancellor in the stomach. I don't know what that was. We're going to send him on a corner route again, though. And uh, it's covered heavily this time. We were only looking his way, though. <laughs> Taking another sack there. Third and 19. Looking for an option. We're going to roll out. And we're going to take a sack. Does sound familiar? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Like, is this beast mode? This is Marshawn Lynch against the New Orleans Saints. Every time we play Thomas Rawls, he's, he unleashes. All over the screen. Corey Clement has not had such a good day, but Thomas Rawls has been unstoppable. That's what we need to do. We need to get Corey Clement off the field. He is he, or on the field. He has like negative 16, 17 total yards, maybe. Thomas Rawls is averaging like 11 yards every time he touches the ball. Something like that. Get off the block. That's going to be open. Drops it. All right, we need to extend this lead. We need to get this offense back moving again. I think it's going to start with uh, some shorter passes. And Dante Buchanan's fumbled the ball. It's recovered by Taylor Moten. Nothing can go right for this offense in this, you know, after the first quarter or so. Try to keep the ball on the ground a little bit. It's a misdirection for Walter Wiley. There's a great spin. Look at his speed. He's just so fast. Four carries, nearly 100 yards. He's having a better day than, uh, what's his face? Thomas Rawls. The Blitzes has just been coming in so fast and so furiously. Shaquille Griffin picking up the sack there. It's third and 29. I, I, we've been sacked eight times, which might be a record for this series. I feel like I'm, just, I'm getting so much pressure every time I try to throw the ball. I mean, this time it's right back up the middle. I got to throw the ball away. I, th there's no time for these routes to develop. Get closed down on Wilson, man. Ah, first down. Hey, they're still knocking on the door here. We got to stop them. 14 to 3. Would be a way better score than one touchdown down at 14 to 7. I wonder if a fourth down arises if they would settle for the field goal. I wonder. Third and 17. One of the most important plays of the game. Just close down, close down, tackle them. Thank you, Derek Winfield. This is the situation. Do they try for the field goal? There is five minutes left in the game. They're going to go for it, though. I think probably the best decision. Um, because if they if they were to kick the field goal, 
I mean, best case scenario, they probably get the ball back with, I don't know, three minutes if they use their timeouts effectively. They're going to lob it up, though, and it's picked off by Quan Alexander. Tackled from behind by Gurley. That's got to be the game. Let's run out the clock. Third and seven. We're going to check down Dante Buchanan. First down. Stays in bounds. Clock keeps ticking. Only the sixth completed pass of the game. There we go, OJ Howard. There's a big block too. He is feeling slow. We're gonna look for contact and somehow Richard Sherman forces him out of bounds. I don't know how that works. Here we go, Walter. Look at that speed. We're gonna spin back inside, spin back outside. Maybe not the best decision. This is pretty much all wrapped up here, I think. Oh no, Walter. He put the ball on the ground. What are you doing? Luckily, we recover. We're going to go ahead and let the uh, clock run out here. Taking the 14-0 lead over the Seattle Seahawks, securing our spot for now at the top of the division. Offense was weak past the first quarter. We didn't really put any points on the board. And by that, I mean we didn't put any points on the board. Uh, just pressure was coming in so, so fast. And when you play a team like the Seahawks, in Madden at least, they're dominant. They're always so, so good. But that was a much-needed victory. We're going to simulate over the Miami Dolphins. And hopefully we beat them. We don't. We lose. And we are tied back up at 9-6. and six. How do we lose in simulation? I know you guys were saying like some things. This team is a good team. This team should not be losing in simulation. But I guess in next episode, we will pay a play the Dallas Cowboys... Hopefully beating them as uh, Walter Wiley has regressed, I guess. All right. Hey, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the return of 49ers franchise. We'll be recording a couple episodes tonight. Cowboys are up next. Take it easy.